leaf hopper. Look at this. Look at that video, how how clear it is. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. These plants are huge this year. Look at this thing. Oh, this branch right here. We gotta bend this fence up. It grew right into the fence. Yeah. Or at least put it through like a trellis. Can you hold this coffee again mm -hmm. real quick? We gotta put it up through like it was, as if it was a trellis. Just like that. And that'll support it a little bit too. See that? How it just like went up through? Oh yeah. We'll put that one through there. Like so. Take this leaf, this fucking viney shit off. No, I guess not. There we go. At least it, they're growing through the fence. See it? Mm -hmm. It's a lot better now. There we go. They're just through the fence. This one didn't quite make the fence, but this is a chocolate. I mean, uh, Cuban love number nine. I don't know why I keep keep calling it that chocolate, but there's the chocolate right there. And yes, there's going to be some big colas on these plants. We're going to keep jacking them. There was a plant right there that was male. Homegrown Vermont. Yeah, stomped it away. We're going to have to get rid of it. I don't think it'll do anything to this plant. Actually, yeah, it might. It looks like it turned hermaphrodite. So we'll have to just pull it out and get rid of it. That's alright. So you got the chocolate. Cuban love number nine, huge plant, and then your super lemon haze, which is like a beyond crazy plant. There's gonna be a lot of, look at how this Cuban love number nine just took off and has all these colas right across the canopy. Just amazing. So like the only time I'll really take a leaf off is it covering like a bud site or something. So I'll take and pop it off like that. Just throw it. Maybe this one too. And yeah, here's uh, here's that damage I was talking about from the leaf eaters right here. And that's like the leaf that got it the worst. There was only this one leaf though on this whole plant it looks like. That's crazy. It must have got a good taste of it and not liked it too well. <laughs> There's a couple more big leaves in there that don't need to be there. Yeah, we could probably get in here and trim these out. Maybe yeah, we'll, we'll, maybe, well, maybe we'll let the bud set a little bit more. And then get in here and like thin them out some. Give them a good defoliation about 21 days in flower or something. Yeah. Three or four weeks in the flower, we'll thin them out. I say it's like week two, two and a half. They're maybe almost three because a couple of these plants have some really prominent pistols, so maybe about two, two and a half weeks. I know you can definitely tell by this plant right here that, and this is like just a little one that's in a pot like this right here, but nothing compared to these other three monsters. And this is why we're called Homegrown Vermont and Vermonster Grows. Peace out, everyone.